We start by noting that 1 upon x minus a minus 1 upon x minus b is equal to x minus b minus in brackets x minus a divided by x minus a times x minus b. Now x cancels in the numerator and therefore this expression is equal to a minus b divided by x minus a times x minus b. Therefore, 1 upon a minus b times in brackets 1 upon x minus a minus 1 upon x minus b is equal to 1 upon x minus a times x minus b. It follows that x upon x minus a times x minus b can be written as 1 upon a minus b times in brackets x upon x minus a minus x upon x minus b. Now add and subtract a in the numerator of the first term and add and subtract b in the numerator of the second term. Therefore this expression is equal to 1 upon a minus b times in brackets 1 plus a upon x minus a minus in brackets 1 plus b upon x minus b. 1 cancels inside the square brackets and therefore the value of this expression simplifies to 1 upon a minus b times in brackets a upon x minus a minus b upon x minus b. Now divide the numerator and denominator of the first term by a and divide the numerator and denominator of the second term by b we get 1 upon a minus b times in brackets 1 upon x upon a minus 1 minus 1 upon x upon b minus 1. Now multiply the numerator and denominator of both terms by minus 1 and therefore this expression is equal to 1 upon a minus b times in brackets 1 minus x upon b raised to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus x upon a raised to the power minus 1. Now using binomial theorem to expand both terms we get 1 upon a minus b times in brackets 1 plus x upon b plus x square upon b square plus x cube upon b cube plus and so on and the nth term is x raised to the power n upon b raised to the power n plus and so on minus in brackets 1 plus x upon a plus x square upon a square plus x cube upon a cube plus and so on and the nth term is x raised to the power n upon a raised to the power n plus and so on. Therefore, the coefficient of x raised to the power n is equal to 1 upon a minus b multiplied by in brackets 1 upon b raised to the power n from the first expression and minus 1 upon a raised to the power n from the second expression. And this is equal to a raised to the power n minus b raised to the power n divided by a minus b times a raised to the power n times b raised to the power n. And this is the required answer.